What's up everyone? Today we are reviewing Neil deGrasse Tyson's book Astrophysics for people in a hurry. Okay, straight up, this book is small. Like, really small. Like, really, 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 really small. I've read the whole thing in one day, but that's just me. The, the point is, it's really tiny. Now, I'm a massive fan of Neil deGrasse Tyson, and I consider myself a bit of a science enthusiast, so I was really, really excited to read this book. Basically, this book is an introduction to the main themes of astrophysics, and it aims to make you conversant in the workings of the universe, regardless of your current scientific background. Okay, I wanna start by saying that the language in this book is absolutely gorgeous. Neil Tyson has a way of explaining things with such vividness that you can literally paint a picture in your mind of what he's talking about. And that's what makes him such a brilliant educator. However, despite this, I actually found the content in this book to be quite difficult to comprehend in the written form. Often I found myself wishing that I could watch a video of him explaining the stuff in this book or even just having a visualization of the kinds of things that he was talking about. So while the writing was beautiful, I did find it somewhat difficult to absorb and I often found myself rereading passages. And this kind of makes sense because the things he's talking about are pretty abstract. I mean, if you're trying to conceptualize distances that are billions of light years across or particles that are smaller than atoms, that's pretty hard to do intuitively. Now, despite that, I don't want to take away from what this book actually is. It is absolutely jam-packed with information and for a book that is only 208 pages, you're definitely getting your bang for your buck. The book goes through dark matter, dark energy, galaxy clusters, the ever-expanding universe and the big bang and heaps of other things. It goes through all of it. And it does so in far more depth than you'd expect from a book that's the size of my I think that's also why it's a bit difficult to digest because whilst the language is simple, there's just so much going on. This book feels like Neil deGrasse Tyson is taking you for a walk through the universe by the hand, but because there's just so much to see, you're not even focusing on what he's saying because you're just so amazed by all the things that you're looking at. Or in this case, reading. The last chapter of this book was extremely important and insightful, and I'm gonna sum up a bit of it because I think more people need to hear it. We're small. Our problems, our fears, our egos, in the grand orchestra that is the cosmos, we're less than a few notes. So try and take a grander perspective on life. When you realize how insignificant we are, you take a lot of pressure off of your life. Don't get angry at retail workers. Don't be mean to people that look and think different to you. Don't take life so seriously. The world doesn't revolve around us. We're not that important. But most importantly, life's short. Try not to waste your days. Go and forgive people and just do what makes you happy. Pretty much all the normal stuff, but this time with science to back it up. I want to make a note of a brilliant point that Neil deGrasse Tyson makes in this last chapter, and that is that not everyone finds it easy to take the cosmic perspective. It's difficult for the farmer working 18 hours a day to provide for his family. It's difficult for the family fleeing the most unimaginable horrors in war-torn countries. And it's difficult for the millions and millions of children and adults that live never knowing when they're gonna get their next meal. You can't look at how majestic and awe-inspiring the universe is when suffering is everywhere and survival is the only thing on your mind. So realize how fortunate you are that you can consider the universe in its entirety. And hopefully the things you learn can help make your little corner of the world a slightly better place. Okay, I think you would enjoy this book a little bit more if you already had a bit of a science background, but I don't want that to scare you from picking this book up and trying it. Neil deGrasse Tyson is perhaps the single best person that you would want to introduce you to science and more particularly, astrophysics. I definitely recommend watching some YouTube videos or podcasts uh, from Neil deGrasse Tyson. I'll link some in the description below because they will make this a little bit easier to digest and just give you a little bit of a taste of what he's all about and the kinds of things that he talks about. That's it. Remember not to get a big head and I'll see you guys next week. Catch.